Hey everyone, I am Arav Sikshit and we are watching Connect Ecology English. Please subscribe, like and share my channel so I will be motivated for creating technical videos like this. So let's get started. We are continuing our, fun, full, our Python series and this is our part 10. And this video will be very amazing because you are going to create your very first project. And in this project we will see how can you create a calculator. And I will also clear a concept for you and that concept will help you in future uh, but I am not using that concept in this project this video will be of two parts one will be your concept clearance and that will be very very separated from the project uh, because that is of the module and we are not using any kind of module in this project and so let's go to our computer screen and go to our past one and in part two we will see how can you create a calculator and with the help of your clear concepts control flows so here is the computer frame so i am i have just opened the computer terminal not computer vs code terminal and that's here and python main.py here suppose I want to explain a concept right now and this is the part one and suppose you want this utils.py and here is a variable with the x is equal to 10 and we save this now we want to use that variable in our main code so I will just write this import utils and print utils dot x now what is this code this code means import everything from the utils and we will use that with utils dot and the value that you want to use and when you will do this you will see this thing 10 because x value is 10 and your concept is clear now now let's move to the interesting part that is project and in project I will firstly write print welcome to the calculator and let's run the project welcome to the calculator and then I am creating an infinite loop with the help of while true while loop and this is the control flows statement and in python if you want to accept the user input then we use a input function provided by python and here you can pass the prompt enter the expression colon slash and means enter but we want to use slash t slash t means a tab operator or tab operator let's save this and if we go here now you will see it's asking me every time if i say 3 plus 5 then it will save and then again ask me the value because the while loop will run infinite at infinite time and I want to explain a concept now. If expression is quite, if expression is quite, then simply break, break the loop. Break the loop. And for breaking the loop, we use break operator. It will break the loop that is going on right now. And if we again run this, 2 plus 3, it will run. But if I say quiet, then it will close. Now it's working. Now it's working fine. Now in Python, we have a function called eval. Eval evaluates the expression that you are using.
suppose like this i say um, here you can write the python code also so suppose you want to sum all the values but i am not doing that right now uh, suppose eval means it will run the python code that you write here as a string and it will just run the code suppose i write 2 plus 2 and 1 2 3 and boom guys we have our this thing and after 2 plus 3 we say suppose 5 minus 6 minus 8 plus 8 uh, just this thing and import math let's see it is invalid syntax as you can see so 6 plus 6 that is 12 256 plus 256 it's 512 and if we say 89 plus 89 the answer is 178 and that's right and suppose I say we can also do a thing here we can import all the concept all all the constant from the math module provided by this so now if we run this thing and say that we want sign of 30 it will say the sign and that's working and if i write this python code it will also work 5 plus 4 is 9 and 9 plus 2 is 11 so it's right and tan of we can also use the value of pi right now pi is also working so you can use this as your arithmetic calculator and it's work also it will work also and this is very useful project for you also if i write quite then it will quite and we have a function it's saying that if you want to quite that you can use the function quite it will automatically quite the whole program and if you do this thing then if we write quite it will use quite or if we press ctrl z and enter uh, then it will say euf error and that's it guys this is a video i hope you like this video thank you guys thanks for watching the video let's wait for the next project and that will be just like this